everyone, and, and thank you, everybody. It's a sort of tradition in Broadway musicals that when it gets late uh, to wake everybody up, there's something called the 11 o'clock surprise. It's, it's a big number with a lot of tap dancing. And, uh, <laughs> no, no. no, Dana said I should tap dance. So really, the only surprise is, is my being here, because um, you know, if, if only my father was alive, he'd be a very old man, of course, if he was. But, but, <laughs> but, but, but you know, when I was growing up and wanted to be in the theater from the age of five, he would look at me. And as I grew up a little bit more, he would look at me even more concerned. And, uh, <laughs> and he was obviously very nervous about the whole thing. Uh, he, <laughs> He said that he was worried that I wouldn't make any money, and later on I realized he was also worried that I was going to like guys. But uh, <laughs> and he was right about both of those two things. But but actually, I think he would have actually forgiven all of that if he realized that I was going to be standing and getting an award from the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm very grateful uh, for this recognition, especially in a, in a time when it's been very difficult, when our former vice presidential candidate is called the arts frivolous, actually, and where, you know, difficult, uh, the federal government has been slashing arts funding to almost zero, and states which are having a great deal of difficulty have also been doing the same. So to be uh, recognized as an artist and a businessman by the business community is a very heartwarming thing at this very difficult time for us and, of course, for all of us. Uh, we've said that when, you know, when we moved from the Folger to the Landsberg, and, and, and that was uh, on 7th, 8th Street, there was 7th Street, there was nothing happening, uh, people said to me, oh, you, you can't go there, it's a, a terrible neighborhood, it's, it'll be unsafe, and, and I said, well, we want a theater, and 400 people a night are going to be their own security, and, and of course it's wonderful now, because there was one restaurant there, and now it's just a complete entertainment center, and I'm very grateful to the business community for when we wanted to build the Harmon Center opposite the, um, what is it called now, the Verizon Center, um, <laughs> Uh, when we spoke to the city council about supporting us, many members of the business community came to the city council and spoke for us saying that over 20% of their business over the years has been because of audiences from the theater. And they had a great deal to do with our, our getting support from the city. I was honored to be asked to be the co-chair of uh, Mayor Gray's uh, creative, the artistic end of Mayor Gray's uh, transition team on the creative economy. And one of our findings was that the cultural community of the greater Washington area contributes over $2 billion to the city's economy. For that, I'm grateful to the citizens of Washington uh, for having supported a theater for 25 years. And I'm very, very grateful to both our Board of Trustees, uh, to Chris Jennings, our Managing Director, and to, and to our audience. Uh, Dana said uh, she needed a date. She said to me if I took her to Paris, she would come. So all of you travel agents better call me on Monday. Thank you very much. <laughs>